am I gonna put it on my backlog to be finished eventually? Am I not gonna like it so much? Is it gonna be, you know, meh? Or is it gonna be a good game, but just not for me? I've mentioned before, that's something that I kind of want to do more regularly. Um, and I just kept forgetting, but <laughs> I remembered this time. So we got that thrown up there. Hey, Mr. Noodle, welcome to the stream, love. Glad you can make it tonight. Uh, I mean, basically every night, but you know, I'm happy to see you here nonetheless. Okay, let's hit a new game, though, and see if that cutscene plays or what. This title screen has me a little bit worried. The fact that this is all there is to the title screen. I, it's it's kind of a superstition of mine that games with bad title screens usually don't end up being good games. <laughs> and this is not a great title screen. But I've heard a lot of good things about Jack 3, so fingers crossed. Let's hit new game. Let's see if that cutscene plays. If not, uh, I'm going to get up and hit that reset button. Yes, let's create a save file. I forgot to swap my memory cards again because that's just what I do at this point. I'm never going to end up swapping them. <laughs> Dude, I, one of these days, one of these days I'm going to remember to swap the damn things. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Come on. Create the damn save. This is why I need to swap the memory cards so that this right here doesn't happen. <laughs> ah, it takes so long, dude. And I'm assuming it's because, like, I think the memory cards use the Magic Gate technology that, that Sony had. Um, they also used it on some of their, like, camera memory cards and stuff like that. And uh, basically anything without Magic Gate just ended up being really, really slow and sometimes unusable on, on other devices. I'm assuming it's kind of the same here with the memory cards. Okay, this is not the cutscene, I don't think. I love water. Oh yes. It's so good. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get up and hit the restart button. Because I don't think this is the cutscene. And my monks were ready to pray for you. Bonus, we get that amazing PS2 startup sound, so, you know. There it is. <laughs> it's like, come on, PS2 logo, give us the little, the little, boom. <laughs> it's so nostalgic, man, the PS2 startup sound. Freaking love it. I hope that it saved our settings, but we'll see. Whenever we get back into it. Is it going to play the cutscene again or not, though? I wonder, since now that I have a save on the memory card, if it'll play it or if it's just going to skip it. I'm assuming it gives us some, like, backstory on how we got to this point. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Here's here's the cutscene. So we'll, we'll let this play out. I'm assuming this is what links 2 to 3. I don't know that for sure, because we never got around to finishing 2, at least not yet. But, uh... Nice title card. See, why isn't this the 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 title screen? You know, like the the desert area there. Of the Grand Council of Haven City for heinous acts and crimes against the people, you are hereby banished to the wasteland for life. This is a death sentence, Vigor. There must be another way. Your protest was overruled. This dark eco freak is dangerous. Now drop the cargo. This is an outrage! I am outraged beyond words! Although I do have something to say. Not everyone agrees with this ridiculous decree. Yeah, we want a recount! Oh, I see. Who's the monkey parrot? You. Actually, we are not that outraged. Farewell, Jack! Stay out of the sun! Drink lots of water, if you can find it. Jack? Go back to the city, Dax. I'm sorry. The council is too powerful. There was nothing I... I know. You just stay alive, you hear me? That's an order. Someone will find you. I promise. May the precursors have mercy on you. No idea, like, who any of these characters are. <laughs> I mean, Jack. Obviously, I recognize Jack. Daxter, okay. But the the monkey parrot? That that lady? The the council dude? You got us into this mess. Now you gotta get us out. Ah, what a team we'll make. Let's just get moving. But which way? That way. That way. Oh, and I suppose you know where you're going, huh? Better than you do, Bent Beak. Uh, let's just move. This was all your stupid idea. 
No, it was yours. Only a bird brain could have thought this one up. Let's go with him. We'll have together. You mean we'll die together? I can't believe this city hates us. We saved those lowlifes. I, I... Hello. Hello and howdy, everyone. We are playing more Final Fantasy 16. So exciting, I know. Uh, <laughs> it's incredible to me. While I was uh, just letting the stuff roll in the beginning. Hello to YouTube as well. Um, I was on the PlayStation home screen looking at things. And like it tells you roughly how far you are through the main objective of a game on the PS5. Or at least games that support it. And uh, I feel like it was forever ago now. It said 50%. And I was like, okay, we're making pretty decent time through the game, I feel like. Man, I was just looking at it. It's 58%. <laughs> so, like, I don't know if I'm misjudging the amount of time from last time I checked till now. Or if things have just slowed way down. Or I, I honestly, I just don't know. But it's like, damn, dude. It's killing me. We have been playing for 20... What was it? 24? 28 hours? Something like that. Close to 30. So we should be roughly halfway through everything that the game has to do. Uh, you had a little thing above your head. Does that mean... Oh. Oh. Okay. All kinds of new stuff. You're an S rank. Urgent notice to all curse breakers. Due to the discovery of a fallen giant in the Rosarian ruins, we have lately been investigating. All work in the region is to be halted with immediate effect, and all members are to proceed no further than the village gate, lest the echo should be awakened by our presence. No further action may be taken without Sid's express permission. But we don't know the location? No further than the village gate, you say? Rosarian Ruins. Hmm. Okay, the rest of them are all, like, around Domekia, which makes sense because we just unlocked that area. So, not surprised there's a bunch of them there. It's by a black boulder. Hmm. Weird that that one doesn't even have, like, a picture or anything. Okay, so obviously we need to go back to Domekia. Soon. And look at all of that stuff. It's a big area, though. <laughs> yeah, there's this whole section that we've never even looked at. Whatever's down here. Yeah, all of these areas that they may or may not be locked out, I honestly just don't know. Uh, We'll probably go there after we do whatever it is that we got to do. Figure out what we're actually meant to be doing next. Clyde. You're back. I am. And with glad tidings for once. Hugo Kupker is no more. Destroyed that dude, oh, let me tell you. All of our comrades who lost their lives back at Sid's place be smiling down at you right now. We had a stolas from Lubor saying Drake's fang had fallen. I expect that was your doing as well, was it? It's... It's a long story. One for the history books, I'll bet. Welcome home, Clive. Jill, Just hello. You look better. I feel it. Which means I'm coming on your next little adventure. You're not leaving me behind again. Wouldn't dream of it. Otto. Any uh, word on the royalist movements since I've been away? Shouldn't you be putting your feet up? <sighs> Meh. If you really want to know, go and have a word with Vivian. Thank you. I will. We're fine. No need to worry about us, my guy. Ah, the conquering hero returns. And with hardly a scratch on him. I may have picked up one or two. Well, the fact that you came straight to me instead of visiting our resident physica suggests that you picked up something more important. A scent. I mean, it the was pretty hot there. I was sweating a bit. I apologize. I can go take a bath first if it's a problem. With the royalists. He took them to his grave, as did his men. 
slaughtered by the orcs who've taken over the fang. I forgot Orcs about again. the orcs. I've never seen such creatures in storm before. The Waluders must have ferried them over from Ash, but why? Why work to rescue Kukka only to invade his home, the mother crystal of an allied nation, and let both fall? It makes no sense. Do you know the tale of the blind men and the Adamantus? One can often be led astray by focusing too closely on individual details. One must instead see the bigger picture. And what bigger picture is there than my map? Yay! Another top-down political view thing. I don't know what it's called, but this thing. The kingdom of Walud claims dominion over all of Ash. It is a nation forged by the bloody conquest of Barnabas Tharm, the dominant of Odin. The Canvarian War of Independence in 849. The Battle of the Twin Realms in 865. Hello, Noodle. The Battle of Belinus Tor in 873. Wheresoever his armies fought, Odin was found where the fighting was fiercest. But of late, the warrior king appears to have laid his sword to rest. Battle rages for control of the crystalline dominion. Yet Tharm sends not a single ship in support of his Dalmechian allies. Meanwhile, the Blight ravages great swathes of ash. Yet warlike Walud shows not the faintest interest in laying claim to untouched <laughs> lands. So why go to the trouble of sending an army of orcs into the heart of Drake's Fang? Only to make no attempt to claim the Mother Crystal for Walud. It can hardly be for lack of men. Tharm's armies rival any in the Twins. No. We have not seen the last of the Waluda standard. Odin will ride again. It is but a question of when. And are on that day, who will be trampled underfoot? Are they maybe just wanting all the crystals to be destroyed but their own? So they're the only one left with, like, true power summary, or something? I know not to what end the royalist betrayed Kukka. I know only that it is part of some broader scheme. A scheme tied to the ambitions of one man. King Barnabas. But there is no need to wallow in confusion. If one is to cure a sickness, one must first identify the symptoms. And your Lord Uncle has volunteered to do just that by keeping an eye on the Royalists' movements. <laughs> He's really throwing himself into this. <laughs> Indeed he is. Which means all that remains for us to do is await his reports. Well, not quite all in your case. The or maybe Barnabas and Odin are working use. with... Ultima in some way? Done. Hugo Kukka is dead. The wounds he left that night are still raw. Especially for those who lived with Sid the longest. Tell them that those wounds might finally begin to heal. Consider it the price of today's instruction. I've never known you to be sentimental. <laughs> what can I say? I am only human. And we are... All of us, sentimental animals at heart. I suppose we are. Very well. I'll go and spread the word. Oh, so now the main quest says it's just talking to random people. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, probably no random quests yet, right? Anything catch your eye? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Clive. I forgot that you actually have Anything to like check areas eye? here. Yeah, no, Always okay. Didn't something figure. In there. Fancy a look Last at time I'm talking to you, I promise. How do you feel about Hugo? Luck and luck alone. It was luck and luck alone that saw me safely out of the hideaway that night. So many others didn't make it. I see them, you know, in my dreams sometimes. Always tell them I'm sorry that I wasn't able to save them. But now I can tell them something different. That Kupka's dead. That you avenge them. And I know that they'll what they'll say back to me. So Thank let me say you, it for them. Clive. You're welcome, my guy. Uh, okay, do we have any new Renown stuff since we're here? How may I help you today, Clive? I don't really care about your opinion, I'm gonna be honest, but... <laughs> no goodies? Okay. 410 is the next there, one. I'll probably forget that, but we'll try to remember. 
So with Blackthorn, Charon, and Harpocrates. Really? Just three? I guess it's the way they move across the screen. I thought it was like five of them. I'm not going to lie. Who are you? Oh, you're the bard. I remember. We've talked to you a couple of times. Might as well update the tomes. And maybe, just maybe, we can ask him like, Hey, do you know why I have these weird abilities that I have? Have you come seeking the no mention of it throughout history no. by any chance? To share mine, actually. Hugo Kupka is dead. He... Oh my! Can, can, can it really be true? <laughs> Look, he's crying. <laughs> he is <laughs> big baby. <laughs> and with good reason, children. These are tears of joy. We must offer up a prayer to your parents that the heavens might weep with us. There shall be no lessons today, only thanksgiving and merrymaking. Go, put away your things. All right. Brilliant. Like, I know he's a terrible person, and, you know, he killed a lot of people here at the hideaway and whatnot. But, like, <laughs> crying tears of joy for someone's death still seems a bit morbid. I'm not going to lie, dude. <laughs> like, just a wee bit. Nate, what's up, dude? Welcome, man. How you doing tonight, my guy? Ultima came to me. I need to know what he is. Have you learned? Oh, good. So we do at least have him looking into it. No. And not for want of trying. I have scoured nigh every historical tome in our collection and found nothing. Not even the sort of conspicuous absence that might suggest a concealment of fact. One is almost tempted to conclude that such a creature never existed. Well, it definitely does now. With my own eyes. I don't doubt that you did. Alas, it seems you are the only one who has. And Jill. To others. And Sid. He reveals naught. And Sid knew what he was, right? We see only that which he leaves in his wake. And then Josh knows what he is. Or jo Joshua, whatever. <laughs> and Odin and his guys seem to know about it in some way. The Ultima you met with was the being itself, or merely another projection of its power. I know not. But until I do, my investigations shall continue. Thank you. It means a lot. Because, I mean, if all of these people know about it, what are the chances that, like, they learned about it through word and word alone? And, like, nobody had ever written anything down about it. There's got to be some sort of text out there about Ultima, what he, what he is, what he's doing. Not bad for a boy from the Imperial Barracks, eh? Looking down on us now and You look like you could do with a drink. Oh, you're not the one I was oh, wanting to talk to. Sorry. Crazy, yeah, you? nope. I don't need anything. Thanks, though. Well, someone looks pleased with himself. It's true what I'm hearing, then. Nothing escapes you, Lady Karen. It's true. Kuka is dead. Hmm. No more looking over our shoulders, then. Good. I'm starting to get a crick in my neck. Don't let it go to your head, though. I mean, there's still, like, other dominance that could potentially try and come murder us, though. <laughs> like, we definitely haven't made very many friends. Oh, that's a good... That's a big upgrade. I'm gonna check with the smith first, but that's... That's pretty big, the enhancer, man. What's the enhancer say? Though a savvy merchant would have you believe that through arcane magics imbued into the sword, its wielder will experience enhanced strength and dexterity. In truth, it is the reduced weight and increased hardness afforded by the weapon's narrow blade of folded steel that ultimately provides the illusion of these enhancements. So that sounds like something we can just craft. Nothing new, no. Uh, okay, you sell more crafting materials, whatever. I guess we should probably start buying the music these ones are like always available so i'll ignore them but <laughs> for the other ones 
like we probably should. Like with the the shops just out and about in the world. Blackthorn. Do you have a moment? What is it? I'm busy. I wanted to tell you that Hugo Cooper is dead. I can't tell you how long I've been waiting to hear those words. Ah, he's just a big softy all along. This is it then. Uh, a new beginning under a new Sid. I'll try to live up to the name. <laughs> Man, a few words. I like it. Let's see if Otto has anything else for me. Alright, what kind of crafting stuff? Can I make the enhancer? We can make a couple things. So we can make the grindstone. Which... Okay, the enhancer is objectively better, though. <laughs> but we'll probably just do the grindstone. I've been enjoying using these, like... Oh, damn. How, where's the diamond sword? That's not... Oh, it is an option. White worm bone? How do, how do we get white worm bone? What is that? <laughs> Where did that come from? I'm assuming... Maybe that's like a... Uh, we got a, a hunt thing or something? Because that's pretty good. I mean, we should probably... I'm going to make the grindstone because it's the, like, story one or whatever. I do say so myself. But then we'll probably make the enhancer. Drake Slayer's belt. Nice. Winter Wastecloth. Meh. Silken Sash. 21 defense. Nah, Drake Slayer's belt is the best. Uh, Scarletite Electrum... Oh, that's reinforced. No. Gelatinous mass. Scarlet. Okay, so we should have everything we need to make both. Should last you a good while. Yes. Equip that. No scratches. Make right. and equip that. Our defense is decent now, thank goodness. And now the enhancer? But I'm going to leave the menu first because we had that problem when we were buying stuff of things just like disappearing. That weird bug. There's belt and bracelet. Nice. Grindstone. Clive. Sorry, would it be? Yeah, might as well make it. Fire rate, earth and fury. Yeah, whatever. It last you a good while. Equip. And enhance. Not my best work, but it'll do. So now that we could still make the diamond one if we find the stuff, but it's not that oh, big yeah. an upgrade now. Fine. Doesn't look nearly as cool as the other sword, but <laughs> it's objectively like better though. Too. Unless there's something about it that we don't know. But as far as I'm aware, none of the swords or anything have like special abilities. Uh, just like actual writing. No, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna read all that crap. Nothing new in the Wall of Memories. Doesn't look like it. Okay, back to Auto. Drew, hello. Wasn't sure you were gonna be here today, man. How you doing? Happy to see you, my guy. Fucking <laughs> fuck reading. <laughs> I feel that, dude. Every time I play like Skyrim or Fallout or anything like that, more so Skyrim. Then Fallout. I tell myself I'm going to like read all of the books and everything and get all of the lore. And then I read like the first five and I realize, bro, this is gonna take literally forever. And then I just don't <laughs> I just give up on it. Like technically skipping an assignment be <laughs> Oh god. You've never even read one? Damn dude. I've read a few, and it is my goal to play the game and actually so, read through them all as someday. Because, like, there's a lot of good lore in the books, but no. it's just so much, she man. Right so there. much reading. Everyone was glad to hear the news. Ah, oh, but you ain't told everyone. 
I can think of plenty of friends back at the old hideaway who'd sleep more peacefully for knowing. Not least of all Sid. You should tell him. And maybe his daughter? You're right. Go tell her? I, I mean, Kuka's not the one that killed him, but still. And they will. Well, she'd probably like to know. When you do, be sure to take Mid with you. There we go. She's been going at it hammer and tongs down in that workshop of hers. Trying to do her father proud. But I can't remember the last time she visited the old salt's grave. Very well. I'll suggest it. That's loud. Nello, what's up, dude? Hello, hello. I'm great, man. Tired, as always. But other than that, I'm good. I'm good. How are you tonight, my guy? <laughs> Noodle will love to see that Bo still has the old man eyes. That is her favorite, after all. <laughs> She didn't at all cry whenever the old man eyes appeared last time. Okay, I think... Pretty sure this is the right way to get to mid. I heard it's always and it's 7 a.m. The real question is, have you just woken up? Or have you not gone to sleep yet? I have a feeling... It's the second one, but <laughs> but I'm not positive. Uh, this way. started reading books that don't have any pictures in. No, we don't need it. It's fine. Just ignore it. Ignore the random things you can interact with. <laughs> they don't do anything useful. I don't come up with something soon. Mid, hello. All right, Clive. What do you want? I'm going to visit Sid, and I thought you might like to come with me. Sorry, I'm too you are? busy for all that right You're now. You're still German? I've got I had no idea. <laughs> Some old... <laughs> displacement stack. Here. And uh, this is for... Only the fastest, finest ship the world has ever seen. The Enterprise. Me and my dad designed it but together. But why? Oh, okay. vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water. Ours is fitted mm. with mithril engines. Okay. And those things have got more push than a behemoth in a bad mood. And more heat than all the hells put together. Which is where the stack comes in. I may have already talked some tight-lipped ship rides into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it here. Thing is... It's so involved that one twelve. Yep. And it's starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. You guys be trolling I'll never. I'll and see my dad though when I'm done, whenever that is. <sighs> is there anything I can do to help? Good old Clive. I was hoping you'd say that. First things first. <laughs> I need some parts, making. The sack will be made up of three major components. Mid is not sus. Mid is Clive's in, daughter, or not Clive's daughter, not our engine. daughter, <laughs> Sid's daughter. The helm over the top that disperses. Mid all just that happens to be there. insanely smart and wants to help. And the shielding around the side. And a little demanding. That stops the rest of the ship from going up in flames. Just a wee bit. A full suit of armor, then. <laughs> Probably best to take it one Him and Jill, time. you know, they had a little they night together. The they were Everything a little lonely out during their travels, the and, and the list of out popped here. her. <laughs> Show these to Blackthorn. He'll know what to do. We have the metal to be building all this shit. Luckily, like, you don't need to. And it's made of mithril. Like, isn't mithril relatively rare? Okay, well. Guess we're gonna find out. I'm sure, uh, what's his name? Blackthorn will be happy to have some new projects to work on. When it comes to boyish charm, Goops has an indomitable rival in Gal. One is the sweet little babe in arms to be- Literally every time we come back other, here, she's hitting on another guy in the, on my in the hideaway here, dude. Seriously, that night needs to happen because you have a feeling something bad is going to happen. I mean, this game is full of bad things happening. I would not be surprised. 16 is a more compelling Witcher. I can't say too much on that front. Only because I've only played one. Um, 
I haven't, and I haven't even finished one. The gameplay for one sucked though. <laughs> like story-wise and whatnot, it was fun enough, but like the actual combat was just, bruh, not not great. And there's definitely problems with Final Fantasy 16, to be clear. Like, I enjoy it, but side quests and exploring are absolute garbage. And, like, all it has is a really good combat system and an interesting main quest line. She said you would know. Yeah. Gregor's Tate. I don't know what the hell you'd want this for, but I can make it. Won't be easy, though. And I'll need help. Get Gavin Otto in here, will you? All right. So I'm still not sure. What are we building this thing for? Are we going to become, like, a trading community or something? Are we going to make a mobile hideaway? Sail the high sea? Are we becoming pirates? So Bruh, I'm down for that. Again, is she? Typical. Still. I have no idea what you're talking what about, Rue. I'm sorry. Do, exactly? <laughs> Never played to. I don't goodness. know who David is. It's this plating. The usual saw grade still won't work. We need something that can get very hot, very fast, and still keep its shape. That means an alloy. Something that won't break or buckle at the temperatures she's talking about. Which is you where have an alloy coming. in mind? I need materials, and I've got my work cut out already. You'll have to fetch them. Now, there's a special kind of sand I'm after that you can only find out in the Valkroy. Stardust, they call it. As for the rest of the stuff, my usual supply should have it in stock. It just needs buying and bringing back here. Well, <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> we'll get it done if we split up. One of us an is that sand. like in game uh, lore, or is that like. Supplier. I'm right so then. confused. <laughs> I have no idea what the hell's going on. It's in game lore, okay. <laughs> so, on Mass Effect 1 is a bit dated at this point, to be honest. Um, I played it probably 10 years ago, roughly. And uh, I've really enjoyed it, but I never finished the last quest. Literally, just the last quest. Like. Speak with Blackthorn, gather the necessary materials? Okay. We were just talking to him, that's why I ran away. Anyways. You going after the Stardust then, are Sending you? a pick, okay. Which one of these two lucky souls is going with you? I get to pick someone to go with me? Who do we want to go with us? Uh, I don't see a picture. I don't think you've got it sent yet. I'll check again in a moment. Uh, let's take Gav. Gav's happy-go-lucky, I Gav, like him. You're with me. All right then. So, uh, where do we find this stardust stuff? <laughs> I was wondering when you would notice. The southern reaches of the Velcroy. It's the black sand that washes up on its banks that you're after. Southern reaches of the Velcroy, eh? That's down past Dallamil. Black I'll sand? Go scout the place out. Is it just gold that he's looking for? Because, like, all right, I'll meet you by the river. While you're off having a pack, Yo, what the I'll hell? the rest of this stuff from Blackthorn Supply. Take care. That is too, eh? some creepy Don't ass shit, bro. <laughs> Please me. I like to see him dry. <laughs> see, noodles are tasty. <laughs> I agree, noodles are tasty. Whether you're talking about Mister or the food kind, <laughs> you can see the tears. The tears. They bring me joy. Anyways, sorry. That's, uh... That's... <laughs> that's nothing. You can't even... I see that, dude. Like, with the hooks and shit that he got. That's pretty messed up. The whole thing's pretty messed up. But... <laughs> I just, uh... I don't know. I have no connection to him. So, like, it's shitty what's being done to him there. But I, I don't... You know, I've never played the game. So, I have no feelings for the character. So, we have 2091... We could master the limit break, which we probably should do. But I also kind of want to master some of Ramu's skills so that we can keep Ramu, like replace Garuda's skills with Ramu skills. It's rough. 
Or it's just a trigger for the name, for the meme at this point? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His brother hooked him up to that. David couldn't consent properly. All he knew was being with his bro, and his bro did that to him. It makes me so mad. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a fucked up storyline there, dude. It's just like, it's really hard to get attached when I don't know anything about it, you know? Mods be storming chat? Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> that, that's because... Uh, all the mods are the regulars, so <laughs> that's <laughs> so there tends to be a lot of mods around here. <laughs> Don't worry, they're all laid back, man. <laughs> it's pretty rare any of them take action. Yeah, I mean, Nate and Noodle are like IRL friends, right? Noodle, I'm dating, um, have been for a long time. Nate's just an IRL friend, so they've been here since the beginning. Rue got here not too long after. And then, uh, I mean, they're the, the biggest regulars, but the other ones appear every now and then. They're cool people too, I guess, but these are the three real ones, you know? Ooh, we got some world quests, huh? Uh, well, okay, there's hunts and things that we need to do down here. So we're going to ignore that and instead go to Lost Wing. <laughs> Like the first non-IRL dude? The first regular non-IRL. Definitely, yes. 100%. Good day to you. And I appreciate you for that, my guy. I appreciate all of you, though. Thank you all. It's nice to have somebody here while I'm just, you know, being a dumbass and playing video games. Afraid of authority and will cry in a fetal position whenever Mod appears in chat. <laughs> oh no. He's going to be looking like David here soon, dude. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Clive, your timing is exquisite as always. I have a concern which you may be able to assist me with. Go on. There are whisperings afoot of shadowy figures having been sighted outside the village. Rustlings in the undergrowth, suspicious noises. My people fear that they are being watched. It may be no more than a surfeit of nerves, understandable in the current climate, or... It may be the prelude to God, something altogether more dangerous. Given what I hope you'll forgive me calling your oh, nose for I trouble, I do. wondered if you might investigate. Sure, I was paying no attention to what you were saying, but we'll uh, we'll go and investigate. One hundred percent, my guy. Forgot to turn off that. That's <laughs> that helps the low light compensation. This. Uh, da 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 da. No, I wanted to check. Do I have Mass Effect on the list of games to beat? I thought I did, but maybe not. I probably am going to add it eventually. Maybe not like right away, but here soon, I probably will. Of course. Because I've been wanting to, and I'm pretty Excellent. sure I have the Mass Effect you might Legendary Edition or whatever, the like the three of remasters of them. The pretty sure I own that as well. All right. I will. And they've been on my list for literally ever, dude. Like, you love them. Nate's a big fan. My brother loves them. Like... I need to just play them again. Well, play the first one again. It's just after losing that save, man, it's been so hard to, like, convince myself to get back into it again after that. You play them 24-7? Nice, Noodle. It's weird. I've never seen you playing one before. You alright, Sid? Something on your mind? There is, actually. Can I ask you something? Quentin tells me people have mentioned shadowy figures out in the woods. Have you noticed anything unusual? Oh, that. No, sorry, I can't help you. I heard the rumors, mind, from the lads working over at the vineyard, but none of them have seen Stop anything either. Enough attention to me. Oh right. my god. Thanks anyway. Noodle needs help. Bro, I literally have no idea what's going on with this quest line, by the way. <laughs> Every time somebody starts talking, I get distracted by chat. So I haven't heard a single word that's been said yet. So open for a sequel to Andromeda. Is the Andromeda the one that just came out like a few years ago? The relatively new one? Because there's only four, right? Mass Effect 1, 2, 3, and then Andromeda. There's talk of suspicious figures in the woods. Have you mm, seen anything? That's what it is. Okay. We just got to go kill something in the no. woods, maybe? But I've heard something. 
Sand is scraping metal, like someone sharpening a sword. Where was this? In Lorbert's Pass. Was out foraging okay. for herbs when I heard it. Hopefully we get a map mar from between the trees. Map marker? Map marker, because I'm going to forget otherwise. Legs would carry me, and I ain't been back since. I see. I'll look into it. Thank you. Rogan botanist. I don't even remember who my Krogans are, dude. Pass is our best bet, then. <laughs> like I said, it's been what roughly say, 10 years since I've played the game. Shall we go and investigate? Uh, isn't there one more person to talk to, or...? I thought there was three. I guess maybe we just found the right person so we don't have to talk to the other one now. I don't know. Street Jazz play Mass Effect now. <laughs> eventually, eventually, we will. Kind of relate to the storyline. Your little brother is autistic and too pure for this world. Man, I know. <laughs> well, I didn't know. But, like, yeah. I agree with what Rue was saying. That the treatment of people with autism is insane in a lot of cases. I have a couple autistic friends. And honestly, there are times where I think I may be low on the spectrum. But on the spectrum myself. And, uh... Yeah. You there. Fuck. He's seen us. Get them before they escape. What's the black shield doing all the way down black here? Shields. Here. As Clive says, yeah. That's surprising. Didn't expect to see them down here. What the hell are you doing here? I mean, the That's franchise the not being continued, wasn't that more or less their own fault though? The like don't leave here alive. With the whole terrible ending to three and all that shit. Oh, <laughs> I never take the time to go to a professional. Yeah, when Nate, we've all taken tests, or a lot of us have taken tests. And uh, Nate scored very high, uh, higher than our our mutual professionally diagnosed autistic friend. <laughs> Much higher, <laughs> like by a, a what was it like by twenty thirty points or something like that. <laughs> Y'all got more health than the last two. That's okay, you'll die all the same. 15, 20, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like convinced that Nate is full on autistic. Oh, you're blocking. That's what I get for not paying attention. Wasn't it like a long time between... I have no idea what just happened there, but that was cool. Uh, wasn't it like a long time between Andromeda and... Oh, there's a fucking healer. Uh, and the third one, though? I thought they put the series on pause after the third one. I could 100% be wrong. I don't follow the series that closely or anything, but... Very strong evidence that you are and it answers a lot of questions. You should just go and get tested. I mean, not that it really matters at the end of the day. You're a perfectly functioning adult. Like, you don't need to, but maybe they could help you with some of the problems that you have in your day-to-day -day life. Yeah, yeah, so traditional, man. 100% traditional. I do miss turn-based combat in uh, my Final Fantasies. But I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I'm glad they got rid of the halfway BS that they were doing, like trying to appease both groups. I'd rather them just do full-on action RPG than uh, like what they did with 13, just as an example. 15 was pretty decent, but it wasn't as engaging as something like this, right? 
the full ARPG take that they've taken with 16 here. Chalmers takes place between 2 and 3 and 2185. I have nothing. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, that uh, the games took place like uh, honestly that close to <laughs> to our time. I would have guessed it would have been even farther in the future. Action RPGs are your genre. I see the appeal of them, but I've always been a big fan of turn-based. I think it's a uh, nostalgia thing for me, you know. Grown up with like face. classic Final Fantasies I and Pokemons and stuff like that. They're gone now. Black Shields. The Empress's former bloodhounds. Though they serve another master now. One who means to root out and destroy both me and those I care for. And it would appear the pack has finally caught the scent of its prey. Damn it all. I had hoped I would have more time than this. More time to prepare. But if we are cornered, we have no choice but to bite back. Good, fight them, kill them, all the black shields, shall. dude. Screw those guys. I'm sorry, you're going Dicks. to need to explain. Who did the black shields serve now? And why would that person want you dead? What was the issues that would be caused because by Because I want him dead. Him who? Who? The former Lord Chief Justice of Sandbrack. All that I have built here. Is for him. I don't understand. Can we get a name? I don't Why remember him? who the Lost Wing. Chief Lord of Sam Breck or whatever. It is better that you know the truth. I was a member of the judiciary once. So sickened was I by the injustice of this world, I swore to fight it. And fight it I did in my own small way. I saw more than a few corrupt officials condemned to the very cells into which they had thrown blameless innocence. Men to whom the law was but a scourge to turn against the powerless. You despise turn-based, really? It was the Lord Chief Justice who... I mean, fair. I know it's not for everyone, but I love it, man. To see justice done. So what changed? I have a soft spot on my heart for, like, for grinds and games that I can I just kind of chill and have in the background while I'm doing other Vinati stuff and whatnot, advice. you know? His support for me was no more than a facade. It's like, I absolutely loved Final Fantasy VII, like, 100% completing it. Not just doing all the secret bosses, but, like, maxing out all the characters and everything like that. Because I would just turn on a movie or Netflix or some shit like that on one screen and then be playing the game on the other and for hours, you know, just like <laughs> killing shit, stealing the, the power-ups from different creatures and things or morphing them into it and just, bruh. Mm. Probably comes from playing RuneScape a lot when I was young. Like, <laughs> just got addicted to that grind at a young age. So I set about enacting my own. I tracked down every soul who served him. Isn't there some, like, overlap between autism and ADHD, though, as far as, like, symptoms go? Because I'm no, I'm no expert in the field or anything like that. But isn't it possible that some of the, the problems that you're talking about are coming from autism? Bunch of overlap? Just saying. Maybe ADHD isn't even a problem for you, dude. Maybe it's just all autism, but... They too have lost loved ones to the bearer hunts. He was close to Witcher. It's uncanny, really. I'll have to tell my brother that because he guilty. absolutely adored All under the um, eye of Witcher the Three. Chief Justice. I haven't played it yet, but Our yeah. Wounds are the same. You may be the youngest in chat. Is the same. Uh, I mean, you're we probably younger than me. <laughs> Most people, if not everybody here, are. I don't you know, know about everybody hides, else though. How numerous and well trained his guard. What we did not know until now, however, was that his plans may already be in motion, too. Quinton. Our time is short. He may move against us at any moment, unless we move against him first. 23, I think, would make you the youngest. It begins. Make ready for war. I'm pretty sure. 
I know that's younger than Noodle and Nate, at least. I'm not going to throw out specific ages for them in case, you know, that's not something they want to share. But, <laughs> but yeah, because I'm, I'm 30. I'm a, I'm a 93 baby, so. And Noodle and Nate are both younger than me, I'm but. Not going to change his mind. So not going to shout out other people's stuff. He tells me I'm too. I mean, you act like it sometimes, so. <laughs> <laughs> I think my issues are minor impulse control and forgetfulness and anxiety are your daily ones same <laughs> I don't have so much impulse control problems but anxiety forgetfulness Oof, the forgetfulness dude I wish I could do something about it <laughs> I mean according to the psychiatrist I was talking to a while ago I probably just need to take some antidepressants for my depression and, and anxiety and then maybe look at treating my ADHD and the forgetfulness would probably more or less solve itself, but I don't like I don't like brain drugs, man. They've never done well for me personally. Lifesavers for some. I'm not trying to talk anyone away from taking them if they're prescribed them, but they've never gone well for me, so just like ugh. But I've got a bakery to run. A bakery that's now short, one pair of hands. And I suppose that's where I come in, huh? Extra pair of hands? I'm at a loss. Please. Will you see if you can find him? Aw damn, I was kinda looking forward to like baking some bread or something, man. I'll see what I can do. Change up the game a little bit. I wouldn't be surprised if he was off somewhere mooning at Drake's fang. He used to work there, you see. Poor fool left his heart in its hollow. All right, then that's where I'll start. So the story for Andromeda, you're saying, was all just like a secret black op to move races away from the galaxy to keep them alive or something? I, again, I haven't played any of the games, so I'm completely lost with what you're saying. But <laughs> but interesting, maybe? Like, I think I think it's interesting. <laughs> Oh god. Seeing what I'll do with buying stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not to say that Nate is uh terrible like with the money, me? but he's pretty terrible with money, man. He is he's not great. <laughs> Love you, bud, but whoof. My thanks. He definitely has problems with buying things he really doesn't need. When he doesn't have the money to spare. Or okay. At the moment, he usually has the money to spare. It's more like the foresight of, I'm probably going to need this money in, you know, three weeks sort of thing that he struggles with, that that I've seen at least. He's welcome, of course, to correct me. It's his life after all, but. Could be wrong, but that's what you're gathering here. It's mostly because Garrus' father says that we heard the council was doing something, just the wrong fucking thing. <laughs> nice. I was going to explore Andromeda. It wasn't a Black Ops. It was the want to explore and such? Or is that just your interpretation of it? Just throwing it out there, man. I don't know. Maybe it was a Black Op all along. I know this isn't the way we're meant to be going, but I'm curious how much of this land is open to us now. And we have, like, what, four hunts here that we need to find and kill anyways, so we might as well. Ho divers and leg eaters. What the hell's a leg eater? I'm slightly better, not much, but hey, admitting you have a problem is the first step to, step to fixing the problem, right? <laughs> it eats legs. <laughs> I'd say there's a small possibility. Do you see the jaws on that thing, dude? And the jaws look like they're at the bottom of the plant. So they probably got the name because, like, people were just walking through here and then something just started chomping on their fucking leg. It's <laughs> like, yep, that's a leg eater, that is. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense to me. Okay, so if we just follow the left wall, so it looks like it's mostly just a bunch of small quarters. So if we just follow this left wall long enough, we should be able to explore the whole area. I shouldn't go out of my way to pick this stuff up. It's pointless. I can't help it. Ten whole gill. <laughs> Let's go, dude. 
we find another uh, 4,000 of those and we'll be able to buy the next piece of music. Excellent. Oh, oh, okay. This opened up a lot more. A lot of it's still closed off, but that's fine. I don't think there will be any hunts in an area that we're not allowed to go to yet. At least there hasn't been previously. You guys like tornadoes? Bruh, I really need to play Ragnarok. God of War on the PS2 was one of my all-time favorite franchises. Still is one of my all-time favorite franchises. I really need to play Ragnarok. I don't even think I've bought Ragnarok yet now that I think about it. Yeah, 16 doesn't feel much like an RPG, to be completely honest. Like, again, it's a great game. It just, it's kind of like how I feel about Final Fantasy 13, right? Good game, just not a Final Fantasy game. It's very much how I felt about 13, and that's kind of the same feeling I have here. Except I think 16's a much better game. Storm Panther, that's new. But you're not a hunt, so... Oh, well, you're angry, though, so... Oh, you bastard. Let me play God of War 1 on PS2. I mean, that's fine. I guess technically it'd probably be a little after your time, right? From the sound of it. But for me, that was like prime teenage years. Still the same lame eyes. I think you just need to learn to accept the old man eyes, dude. Or no, it's not the old man eyes this time. That's more like cat-like. You were 15 or so? That's probably around the same time that I played it, like age-wise. I might have been like 14 though. Ooh, broke through our block, huh? But right around there. And quickly fell in love with it. It's kind of the opposite of what happened with Kingdom Hearts for me, right? Kingdom Hearts ended up being one of my favorite all-time franchises. But the first time I played it, I was actually like, this is garbage. <laughs> like, because the whole section on Destiny Island just isn't great if we're being honest. Like, the game gets much, much better in my opinion, but Destiny Islands was trash. Thankfully, it's relatively short. Like, since there boobs in a PS2 game to be surprising. Yeah. <laughs> I was uh, a little disappointed that it wasn't in the God of War reboot. The, what was it? God of War 2018, I think it was. The the little sex mini game thing that they had in God of War 1, 2, and 3. I mean, they're taking a new direction with the God of War games. It's much more, you know, mature and not so just blood, gore, sex violence sort of thing, you know? I, I respect the direction that they're taking with it. So I understand why they removed the sex mini game, but it was just such a staple after having it in like one, two and three. Yeah, that's why like, I never know what to call it. I still call it a reboot because even though it is a sequel to God of War three, um, they changed so much about the game and obviously they decided to call it just god of war instead of like god of war 4 so yeah that's why i call it a reboot as well destiny islands is great i mean you're entitled to your opinion i wholeheartedly disagree but you're entitled 
you can think what you want about it. Wait, are you guys the hunt? Oh. I didn't expect... Okay. I thought these were just regular dudes, to be honest. I didn't realize this was one of the hunts. They don't look happy. Do you guys like tornadoes? I can't grab you. Too big to be grabbed, too small to have a, uh, a stagger gauge. That's annoying. Oh, that's a paragraph. Where the project could be scratched from a serious benefactor stepped over the right unlimited funding for the initiative. Looming catastrophic threat to the galaxy. It's 2183 after Sarn. Uh, yep, that thing. Failed death attack and sovereign appearance at the Citadel. Existence of the Reapers was revealed. So the Citadel Council was still skeptical of the mother's claims. claim. Benefactor considered a confirmation of their suspicion. Interesting. <laughs> I think he's dead, dude. You can, you can stop beating on him now. Ooh, damn, that hurt. Okay, that's an attack we need to be at least a little bit wary of. Okay, well, I thought we dodged. We did not. Get wrecked, hunt. I'm assuming that was a really low tier one. That was what C or something like that. Peace at last. Other than that one weird attack where the all the B drills got together, it was <laughs> it was a relatively easy one. Guess I've just gotten used to the hunts being like large, uber dangerous encounters, not just weird groups of B drills. Anything else that, like, stands out? I mean, that thing stands out, but is it a hunt, though? Or no, because there's another one over there. So that's just a regular thing. Oh, it's one of them. They were a boss encounter not that long ago. The coral things. Loud knack. Oh, a blood fang? A blood fang? You look a lot like a gnat. This gate's gonna be closed, right? Yes. Trying to like keep an eye on the center because we haven't really explored the center of this area, so I'm just looking for any large beasts. Now, there are hunts where like they're hidden until you get close, but so far we've only had like one like that. Is this a town? It doesn't look like much of a town. Is there anything we can do here? We got the little pop-up, like, when we entered a new area, and it's stopping us from running like it's a town. But it's just empty. It's dead. Can we go in this house? Nope. Hmm. Okay. Maybe it'll be a location of a side quest later or something. Is 
Final Fantasy franchise hated to be called a JRPG franchise. Apparently, it was always supposed to be a medium to tell a story. They never confined themselves to one genre. I have to look up who said that in a rather recent interview, but it seems there's some kind of unsatisfaction with their fans. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I don't think I'm in the minority here feeling like Final Fantasy is a JRPG franchise. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, that may not have been their intentions, but it's definitely... When your first 12 games, or we'll say 11 games, are JRPGs, you kind of put yourself in that position, you know? Not to mention the fact that the first game was heavily based off of games like um, Ultima and D&D &D and shit like that. Which are, you know, obviously not Japanese, but RPGs nonetheless. And I want to say they took some inspiration from Dragon Quest as well, but I can't actually remember. I'm fairly certain Dragon Quest came out before Final Fantasy. I'm pretty certain of that. And I think they were inspired at least somewhat by that as well. I remember watching a, a video on... Uh, the, it was actually a video on the merger of Square and Enix, and they were talking about that a little bit, like the creation of Final Fantasy. And I seem to remember them showing a, an interviewer magazine article or something along those lines about uh, Final Fantasy or uh, Square specifically being inspired by Dragon Quest when they made Final Fantasy. Go stick to the Mana franchise? I mean, I really enjoyed the first game. <laughs> and what's the PS2 one? I haven't finished it, but I played a bit of it. It was fun. I want to play more of it. It's on my list of games to complete. Donna Man, I think it is. What I really want to do is play more of the Dragon Quest games, because I've only ever beaten the first three of them. And uh, that's obviously where Square, like, really does their turn-based RPG stuff these days. Then, uh, what is it? Triangle Strategy and what's the other one? The, the Default series. They do a lot of JRPG stuff in those ones as well, which is really cool. Like, <laughs> yeah, I have it in one of the boxes behind me. I think it's called Dawn of Mana. It was a little bit weird, though, because, like, the RPG elements reset in between each, like, chapter or whatever. Um, but story-wise, what I saw of it, it was good, and the, the combat and everything was fun, so. Where are you, Hunts? There was at least three of them here. What are you? Are you the same as those other things that we saw, or are you different? That big buffalo looking thing. No, you're the same. Okay, so I see another one over there now. Hmm. Yeah, what was the first mana game called in America? Like Final Fantasy Legends or something like that. There was another weird Final Fantasy spinoff, and I always confuse them, so I can't remember if Legends was the the mana one or not. But I played it for the first time a year or two ago, and thought it was really really good. Like I really enjoyed it, man. It seemed to take a lot of inspiration from like Legend of Zelda, Final Fantasy Legends, okay. And uh, that's what kicked off the mana series for me personally. I've bought a, a handful of them since then and kept my eye out for good deals on more. By a handful, I mean like a collection on the Switch and <laughs> I may have also bought the collection on PC, I don't remember. <laughs> my memory's kind of trash. <laughs> and then of course the PS2 one, as soon as I saw it, I picked that one up as well.
So we've gone all the way around the outside here and didn't see anything. So I'm pretty confident there's no more hunts in there. There could be something in the middle that I missed, but I don't think so. Then, of course, there's that one mystery hunt, too, that, like, we don't know the location of. That we just have to hunt down, I guess. The Legend of the Sacred Sword? What is that? Is that the PS2 one? It may have had a different name in Germany and America, though, of course. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's just like a, the full title of it or whatever. Yeah, I've seen the Japanese name for it before. I've just never translated it or, to my knowledge, seen a translation of it. Leg eaters, come on, dude. What you gotta eat my legs for? With as much running around as I do all the time, my legs are probably just like tough as hell. I can't imagine they'd be tasty at all. Still alive? Oh, not now. <laughs> Torval took care of you. Random abandoned cart. I mean, 25 gil is pretty good for a pickup. <laughs> Just compared to the other ones. like a good place to have a hunt it's out in the middle of nowhere there's a nice little arena here at the end for fighting in but it's not looking like it unless it's a group hunt again oh the big boy jumps down that's what it is okay 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 oh adventure okay legends must be the other one the one that i always mix it up with Oh, it's like a group and a big dude? Let me introduce you to my okay, we can handle that. Like I said, I remember there was two of them in, 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 uh, in North America. Final Fantasy spin-offs, quote-unquote. At least that's how they marketed them. And I always mixed up which one was the Mana series. The other one I've never given any real time to. Oh, that wasn't... Oh, well. <laughs> it's not the move I meant to do, but... It'll work. I wanted to line you all up and do a little bit of that. Bro, when's the big dude gonna come down? Let me just fight him already. These gnats aren't cutting it. There's the big daddy. Let's go. Do you like tornadoes? Can't see shit. 
I'm just using sound cues to, to guess on when I should be guarding here. Torgal went all beast mode. That's the first time I've seen him do that since uh, since the the story moment that he did it. The first time he did it. Damn, that was your half stacker? I didn't even realize he was half staggered. Well, in that case, then, I'm gonna go ahead and put the tornado back out. And use a little bit of that. That missed. Good job. <laughs> no, okay. He had more health than I thought. From the looks of it, it was going to be like one hit and over, but no, nah, he took a few. Grimmel can hide, huh? Wonder what we can make with that. That wasn't too bad, was it, Togol? Now, there was somewhere here we could actually climb. Is it here? Yeah, I wonder if there's anything cool over here. Probably not. <laughs> not usually, but maybe. We got three desert roses. And is there a chest or anything? Yeah. Meteorite. That's... <laughs> Woo! So glad we got that meteorite, dude. We're just lost in a deep dive of Mass Effect lore. I mean, I've been there with, like, Elder Scrolls and shit, man. Mm. Spent many a night just watching YouTube videos on Elder Scrolls lore and backstory and shit like that. Uh, okay. Let's teleport to the jaw. It'll be quicker. Oof. Oof. Or, damn, let's not even talk about whenever I finished watching Evangelion. Because, holy shit, dude. <laughs> Ended up watching like a two hour YouTube video just explaining the ending of that show. And I'm glad I did. I still don't understand it, but like but I'm glad I did. Have you watched it, Nate Evangelion? Oh, you're another hunt. You're the man. 
I wasn't even expecting to find him here. Well, hello, sir. Oh, damn, okay. Ooh, you're fancy. Very agile, I see. Oh. Mystic Quest was that one that like everybody hated, right? At the time at least. It was like a very dumbed down Final Fantasy game. It's the first time a hunt has just been like a dude. Mystic Quest is Man of War. Maybe I'm thinking of a different game. I don't know, man. <laughs> Square changing the name of all their games for the the uh, international releases confuses the hell out of me. My memory's poor enough without trying to follow all this stuff. Like, <laughs> I can't do it. Caught a Final Fantasy Adventure. Yeah, that's what I knew it as. But there was another like Square RPG back in the day that I thought was called Mystic Quest, but it must have been called something else. Maybe I'm thinking of... No, because that one was another Game Boy one. This one was for, like, the Super Nintendo or some shit that I'm thinking of. Anyways, I just remember there was one that, like, was pretty universally disliked, but Square had marketed it as a uh, Final Fantasy game and had made it much simpler specifically for, like, North American audiences or whatever. Final Fantasy Legend of Saga. Yeah, which I've never played any of the Saga games before. Other than a bit of Final Fantasy the Legend. Because Legend... Is Legend the one that you, like, uh... N not, like, you recruit monsters or you are a monster or something? I forget. It was a Game Boy one. It was weird. I didn't play much of it. <laughs> That's about all I remember. <laughs> It was for the Game Boy, if I didn't say that. Saga's not part of Final Fantasy, that's all you know, fair. Fair. <laughs> Yeah, Square just had this thing back in the day of calling everything a Final Fantasy game for international releases to try and capitalize off of the uh, popularity of Final Fantasy, which, I mean, fair. That was a time when RPG games didn't do particularly well, especially Asian RPG games, share RPG games. Simple-minded, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, but for good reason, I feel like, though. Right? Because, again, like, Dragon Quest tried and failed miserably multiple times to bring the their games to America. Square tried and did better, but still struggled to get their games to really take off. Although, honestly, I think a large part of it for both series was that by the time they came to North America at least they were like years behind their original Japanese releases so like for some of the games they were coming out for the Nintendo and like Super Nintendo was already announced and whatnot you know and it's like bro no we want the new one not <laughs> not this old stuff oh that hurt So close. <laughs> oh god, we're dead. We're so dead. 
We were so close. <laughs> oh. Damn. Sorry. The obelisk is close, and now we'll have a full set of heals. I just hate when it's like a few hits left, and then we go down. Like, bruh. All right, man of knives or whatever the hell your name was. Try this again. Oh, real quick before we do that, though. Let me look. Oh, is my mouse not connecting? Come on, mouse. I don't even see it. Where? It, oh, there it is. Okay. Come on, connect. This is the one thing I hate about wireless mice. It's because I have so much damn interference in my room. I have the I have problems with like Wii or not Wii modes with the Switch controllers all the time too. It's annoying as hell. Ah, there we go. Uh, I wanted to look up Saga and make sure it's the one I was thinking of. Final Fantasy. Uh, da 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 da. Legends. Final Fantasy Legend. Originally released by Square, role playing game, Game Boy, Saga series. Ba 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 ba. Some soft release. Turn based system similar to Final Fantasy 2. Tells monsters and fiends using a variety of weapons. Uh, da da da. Classes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so Saga is the one that I've never gotten into. Like, never given a real chance to either, though, to be fair. Because, like, there's humans, mutants, um, and monsters with their own strengths and weaknesses. Character classes cannot be changed once the game has begun, but the player may recruit up to three additional party members through a similar process via member guilds in various towns. Yeah, that's what it was. You're not, like, collecting things like you are in Pokemon, but you can get different weird creatures and mutants and shit like that to be part of your party. Sounds interesting, but I never got into it, at least. I still don't remember what the other one was called, though, the one that I can't remember the name of. Damn, you got some damage output, dude. Tornado is probably going to be more or less useless with how much you move around. But we might as well use it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, wait, we can actually go outside the circle here? Oh. I imagine if we go out of the circle, we'll like forfeit the fight, though. off Legend of Mana, maybe? You can poison this, dude. Right in that poison mist, GG me. Block poison mist with our giant fist. Oh, damn you! I'm gonna take hits, but oh, never mind. He left. <laughs> okay, he's 
halfway there. I think we got him this time. We still got a lot of potions left. How does the poison this work, man? Wouldn't it just get sucked up in the tornado? Oh, that straight broke through. I knew it would, like, break through the guard, but I didn't realize we would still take the damage from it. go underground yet? No, thank god. Couple hits actually. Did you just like jump infinitely with that? Sorry. <laughs> I just focused on killing him. He's close. I need to just get rid of him before I die. Bro, we missed every single one of those. Garbage. Get wrecked. Think Mark? What does that one do? No, oh, just 10 marks. Okay. I think that was all of them for this area. I think. There's still the mystery Those one that could be literally anywhere. Out. Well, we know it's outside of a town, but that's about it. There may have been other clues in the, the wording of it, but I don't remember. Okay. Talk to this guy, and then I'm going to look up Legend of Mana, because that might have been the one I was thinking of. Hello, Baker's Apprentice. What you doing out here, man? It's a little dangerous, don't you know? Excuse me. What do you want? Oh, the no, Baker's no. It's not Legend you. of Mana. That's not the one I was thinking of. I am a sorry, selfish sod, aren't I? I'm certainly not a baker. Master must have ruled the day he took me in. Time was the sight of the fang used to calm my nerves. But now look at her. I take it you miss the Mother Crystal. Oh, I hated her. But she was all I knew. Worked her minds for years. And when she shattered, part of me shattered with her. I had to trade my pickaxe for a rolling pin. But I'm no good at baking. Every loaf I touch collapses. My bread's as hollow as I am. She was the only thing that could fill the hole inside me. Oh, I loved her, damn it. But now she's gone. She's never coming back. What am I supposed to do? I ask her. How does a shell of a man learn to live again? Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. That's what it was. Yeah, known as Mystic Quest Legend in Europe. 
That's the one. It was a Super Nintendo Final Fantasy game. I've only ever played a tiny bit of it, but uh, from what I've seen online, it was not received well at all. <laughs> like, not even a little bit. Uh, you should express yourself. Perhaps you could express yourself in your work. If you miss the fang, maybe you could recapture it somehow. Recapture it? I'm a baker, not a... You know, you might just be right. I say, I have no idea what you said before, but I, I always be. give the best advice. I have to get back to the bakery right away. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. You've opened my eyes. Wait. Why are you telling him to wait? We did it, man. He's happy then. now. <laughs> oh, we were going to offer to escort him. I mean, that makes sense. There was literally just like an extremely dangerous monster. Or not monster, man nearby that we killed. But, I mean, hey, we killed him though, so it should be fine. Nothing to worry about. Legend is a spinoff anyways, and the best game of the franchise. I have to check them out one of these days. Do they play like mana? From the screenshots, they look to like... I don't know, a little more tactical or something almost, but all I saw was a couple screenshots. Not at all. Okay. <laughs> Said they looked a lot different, or at least the Wikipedia page or whatever I was looking at, the screenshots they were using looked a lot different. The man who lit a fire under my wayward apprentice. Though I worry you might have stoked the flames a little too high. He damn near ran me down trying to get to my oven. Master, it's ready. Behold the Drake's balm. A truly I mean, that looks good. I'd eat it. Creation. What's in the I middle of it? Say it is. is it filled <laughs> with something? Just look at it. A perfect likeness of the Fang herself. Or is that just like... Her steeple peaks, her fulsome spurs, her inviting hollow. True. Inviting My hollow. My nose collapse more often than not, but what's the Fang without her crater? What? Okay, yeah, so it's just no more bread. <laughs> inside it, fair. Inside, she's filled to bursting with a bounty of beautiful crystals. Salt. I mean, this food is food. <laughs> Master, but it's pretty food. I must use my work here to preserve the memory of the fang. Uh, well, if it tastes half as unique as it looks, <laughs> I'd certainly say you're on to something. Not only is my apprentice back, but he's finally pulling his weight. With any luck, I might even have a new delicacy on my hands. I don't know how you did it, but you have my thanks. It seems like they were really single-minded with each area of the game. It's like this is at least the second quest for this one area where we were dealing with, like, helping an apprentice find their way. Which, having two of those in the same game, not a big deal. But two of them in the same exact area? That just seems lazy. <laughs> you have the most kinds of bread in the world? Really? I would have guessed, like, France, to be honest with you. But I don't know a like lot about... Where is Gav? You know. <laughs> dishes outside of America, I guess. <laughs> I just happened to watch like a couple French cooks and uh, British cooks. So I have some knowledge of like that, but yeah. And I always see like in the French videos that I'm watching all of the different breads that they're always talking about. So that's just what I think Sorry of when I think guy. bread is France. Better late than never. I've had a quick scout about, and I reckon round here's our best bet if we want to grab as much of this stardust stuff as we can. Don't know what Blackthorn's plan to do with it, though. I asked over in Dalamil, and they seem to think it was worthless. But if stardust is what Blackthorn wants, stardust is what he'll get. There's plenty of this stuff lying about just begging to be bagged. Then let's get bagging, shall we? We shall. Race ya. I care way too much about what this stardust is, man. 
It's like <laughs> black sand on the edge of a river makes me think like panning for gold. But surely there's easier ways to get gold than collecting a bunch of the black sand on the river banks. Now gold does have high heat transference, like conductivity, but I don't think it has a high melting point. Now he is trying to make an alloy, so maybe gold mixed with like something else would help. But again, there has to be easier ways to get gold than collecting a bunch of black sand. So this is stardust. <laughs> it just looked like black sand to me. Hmm. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> Love when buttons don't work. Or not when the button doesn't work, but like when it doesn't trigger. Like right now I just wanna I just wanna pet Torgle, but no. Gotta jump around like an idiot. Good boy. Okay, where where to? Oh, okay. So we got too far away. Maybe like up there, but that's not the riverbank. Can we go farther down the riverbank? No. Ah, okay. There's some. Why'd you, why'd you stop collecting, my guy? I didn't let go of the button. Okay, that's the limit there. Ah, there's some all the way up here. Maybe they have like floods or something? Bring it in all the way up here? If there was some there. Aha. Okay, well, we grabbed random handfuls of sand. Let's <laughs> hope that helps Blackthorn in some way. I think therefore I am. I fear therefore I live. Isn't that from something? I feel like I've heard that before. Hi, Gav. You finished? How much did you get? Enough. I hope. I'd love if we just went back and he was just like, you dumbasses, what am I supposed to do with five tiny handfuls of sand? Go back and get me like Five buckets full or you something win. like that. <laughs> that might even be enough for old Blackthorn. Here, uh, before we go, do you mind if we? I'm have guessing a chat? the second half, because the "I think, therefore I am" sounds more familiar than "I fear, therefore I live." I'm guessing though. Memory don't work so well. <laughs> The white limestone rocks just like up against all of the I'm assuming red clay. Like since we had the chance to talk. Looks really nice. You know, man to man like this does, water just it? looks unreal through the desert. Back when you first the hues of blue name, and green. We were talking all the time. Working out what to do in that. <laughs> there was a lot to work out. And there still is. Those shoulders of yours starting to feel the strain. Hardly ever see around the hideaway nowadays. Always on some errand or other. You can take a day off, you know. Well, says the man who spends most of his time behind enemy lines. Only because you keep sending me there. You're asking for a vacation, yeah. Gav, then just let me know, man. Like, you've earned it. Likewise. We can let you take one. <laughs> so you keep sending me wherever you need to, and I'll keep going. Safe in the knowledge that I have a home to come back to. Thanks to you. My heart. I still half expect Gav to die. <laughs> right. That's enough soppy shite for one day. We'd better get this lot back to Blackthorn before he slings his hammer at someone. You go on ahead, and try to get some rest once you're there. Oh, I plan to. 
Believe you me. After Blackthorn gets what he needs, of course. I do wonder how it would have been different if we brought Otto along instead of Gav. So while Otto's like one of our main men at this point, Ready to go home, boy. we've never had as much of a relationship with him as we have with Gav. So would it have been like the same touching kind of cutscene or something completely different? I don't know. Uh, before we go back to the hideaway for the main mission, we do have a side quest. Or no, we already did the Lost Wing side quest. Never mind. There's all this stuff to explore, but I know it's pointless, so no. I'm not going to do it. We're just going to go back to the hideaway. Unless there's another hunt we need to do here, we're just going to ignore all that shit. It hurts, man. It hurts doing it. Even after I just said it, there's a part of me that just wants to turn around and go explore those uh, uncovered areas of the map. Let's check the hunt board, though. Oh, and Renown. We probably have some uh, more unlockables now. So we should have got a decent bit of Renown from not only the side quest, but the uh, hunts that we did. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Want a token. Many claim they wish to change the world. Few actually take it upon themselves to do so. You are an inspiration to us all. A nameless patron. Oh, so it's just... It's just stuff. Okay. You earned this. I mean, I'll accept it. But I was hoping for, like, a cool piece of gear or something. I'm not gonna lie. High Cleric's Medallion. Two Meteorite? Is that it? <laughs> Best okay. Best of luck out there, Sid kind of useless but whatever uh how many ability points do we have 1802 so we mastered our thingy there our limit break this could be upgraded but not yet i would rather do oh, damn 3140 and that's just to upgrade not even a master Oh, uh, dude. Okay. Um, what about pile drive? 660 to upgrade. Another thousand to master. So now that it's mastered, I should be able to go to gear and icons, switch out wicked wheel. Yeah, with pile drive. There we go. I mean, Wicked Wheel's not bad for the stagger, but I'm a big fan of Pile Drive. Bram, or I'm not even gonna try to say that. First principle, not gonna try to say that either. <laughs> I would completely butcher either one of those, so. <laughs> I've definitely heard it somewhere before. Movie, book, video game, couldn't tell you, but. How many years until I see you play Klonoa 2? Oh, that's a good question. That's a real good question. <laughs> could be a while, could be soon. Uh, just depends on when I see a good deal on the game pop up. <laughs> that's that's really the yeah. thing. Because 99% of the games I buy, it's just because I get an alert that, hey, this game is way below normal value. And I'm like, okay, I'll buy it. We should go out on maneuvers together more often. Or Another one on the PS1. On Oof. Yeah, that's the other limiting factor. Because isn't I'll one the one that's like super expensive? Together, then. It would take some time, mind. So if you've got other things to be getting on with, I could do without you breathing down my neck. Thank you, Blackthorn. I'll let Mid know construction's underway. I'm sure Mid will be happy to hear. Oh shit, we forgot to check the the board. Suppose we'd better be getting back to work too. Give us a shot if you need anything. Had to run back over and check the hunt board real quick. Cuz I can't remember if there was four or five new hunts. There was the mystery one that we didn't do, and we did three. So is that it or is there one more still? One is bloody fucking expensive. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Cuz I remember talking about it with you before and even looking it up and like, yeah. Ooh boy. I have both a modded PS1 and a special memory card that I can 
uh, load anything onto. So, like, I could play that way if I want, but I, while I have nothing against people that do it, I try not to do that sort of thing myself. Did I ever tell you about the time I took a trip to the islands west of Storm? You did not. Tell me more. Is that what you call them, Kupo? In Mukwotong, we call them the Smithies, and the strait that separates them from the mainland, the Quench. I was adventuring down the Demekian coast when I saw bright lights and black shadows out in the offing, Kupo, so I flew over in something. Imagine my disappointment when I learned those lights and shadows weren't busy forges standing the lands with soot, but blight. Still, from what I've learned of how the locals treat strangers since, Kupo, it was probably for the best that I didn't get a chance to say good day. Oh, I wish it didn't, like, uh, just a little more time to read the text, man, <laughs> when I'm trying to read it out loud. Oh, there is one more. The Velcroy Desert. We should go back and do that. Mukos are always cute. Yes, I think this is my favorite Koopo yet, though. I was saying something else. Oh, yeah, no, and the reason why, because when I was younger, I may or may not have partook much more in that sort of thing. Um, but I always said, like, when I got older, got a job of my own, and had disposable income, because when I was younger, we were... Not like, you know, starving to death poor or anything, but we were pretty poor, so we didn't have a lot. It was a miracle that we had any game consoles, to be honest with you. Um, but our parents really liked to try and get us the things that we liked and enjoyed. And anyways, getting off track. Point is, I part may or may not have partook in that sort of thing a lot more when I was younger, but I always said when I got up and got my own job my own money and all of that, that I would uh, support the devs that make these amazing experiences that I enjoy so much. And granted, buying Klonoa 1 now doesn't support the devs in any way, but it's just the principle of it, you know, because than anything. Unless there's a uh, digital re-release, I guess, then doesn't directly support the original devs, but whoever currently holds the rights to it, I guess. Which I'm not positive it's actually any better, but whatever. <laughs> Level up again. Is this another abandoned town? It's another place where we can't run. And we got the pop-up again telling us, like, hey, you're in a new area. But there's not a single soul in sight. Now, were these towns... No, they're too crumbled to be recently abandoned. I was thinking maybe they were just abandoned because we destroyed the Fang. But obviously, this level of tear would have been... A fairly strong hint that that's uh, been abandoned for a while now. Maybe it's just trying to show like how this region has been war-torn or something, maybe? I'm not sure, honestly. Okay, so somewhere around here, to fight. there's a big beast we need to deal with. Or at least a notorious beast. Get him. This one. Stay down. Could be anywhere in here, but it did say the Velcroy Desert. I'm tempted to say it's going to be over here in this little alcove out in the middle of nowhere. So we'll slowly head that direction. As your own income, you start collecting retro video game consoles for everything that actually supports my fave Dazzle by physical so fucking fast, yeah. And like, that's why I don't personally have a problem with it, you know? Because there is no supporting the original devs for something that was made 
you know, 20 plus years ago or whatever. <laughs> like, hell, honestly, games made more than like 10 years ago. There's no real support in the original devs. And that's why I don't act high and mighty about it or anything like that. But for me personally, though, I still, oh, I still try to collect actual physical copies. Not only because I just like having them, but also just personal comfortable things, you know? With all that said, though, I absolutely love emulation. Um, I'm a huge supporter of, of it. And preservation, because I don't feel there's any company out there doing proper justice to preservation. But the pirates are. <laughs> like, pirates are doing a, an amazing job at preservation, so... Huge shout out to them for that, if nothing else. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking over here. Oh. More little guys. Scorpions! You know what I'm most sad about with this game? There's all these creatures that probably taste fantastic, but no cooking system. <laughs> Meaning the ones you own. <laughs> uh, is it you? Are you big guy? No, you're just a salamander. Hmm. Okay, I mean, I'll still kill you, but... You're not what I'm looking for, and that's sad. Huh? Oh. All full sets. <laughs> like I said, I'm not going to act high and mighty about it, man. I don't have a single problem with it. You do you, my guy. And if nothing else, those games are preserved, which is awesome. I really like the video that uh, Gerard the Completionist did a while back, whenever they were shutting down the... I think it was the 3DS eShop, or, or DS eShop, one or the other. Where uh, him and a, a small group of his friends took the time to just, like, purchase and back up every single game that was still available on the eShop. Sadly, some were missed because they were taken down before the eShop itself was closed, but it's a really, really cool thing they did there with that. And I think they delivered them all to, like, the Video Game History Foundation or something along those lines, which, I mean, at least we know they're well-preserved, but that preservation doesn't really do much help if people have no access to it, right? And to my understanding, the Video Game History Foundation doesn't really give people access to the to the files that they collect. Which is why I say that like I think pirates honestly do the best job of video game preservation out of any group out there. Okay, so surprisingly it wasn't here. It definitely said the Northern Velcroy Desert. Oh, but is it just the north part of Elcroy Desert? I guess it could technically be, like, over here or something like that. Hmm, okay. And with all this, like, sandstorm shit that's going on over here, it could just be in the middle of this section over here somewhere, and we just missed it. More exploration's definitely needed. Mostly pointless because the games were all preserved already. Good to have another set. Yeah. <laughs> so I ain't bashing the guy. I mean, hey, you know, it's probably a hobby for them, honestly. Like, me personally, I have backups of most of my games. All of the ones that I have the capability of making a, a backup of, I have a backup of. For my own preservation's sake. And also ease of use, right? Because like I mentioned, I do have modded consoles and stuff like that. So, like, when I'm not playing on stream and I just want to play a PS2 game or something, I'll just launch it from my media server that I have. You know, it's much easier to do that than to dig out the disc and pop it in the PS2 and whatnot. Even though, you know, you do get some nice nostalgic feels doing all of that. 
it's still just so much easier to just load up a uh, OPL and launch the game off my server than it is to, to dig out the actual physical disc. But yeah, I'm not seeing anything here as far as big beasties go. So maybe it is just the northern section of Elkroy Desert. Of course you play over land. I mean, I play over other means as well or have played over other means. Like, uh, for instance, the slim PS2 that I have isn't fully compatible with uh, Mechapone, the region unlocking soft mod that you can do on PS2. Um, so when I'm playing like the Japanese copy of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix or Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix or something like that, I'll use um, the free, D free DVD boot with ESR to launch something like that. I mean, technically, I could play that over LAN as well, now that I think about it, but <laughs> the, the, the time that I actually played a little bit of it recently, I used free DVD boot and ESR, not, not LAN. But LAN is super convenient. Because, <laughs> like, just having all of the game collection in one place there, at least all of the games that I actually care about in one place... And being able to switch between them with just a button combo on the controller instead of having to get up and swap discs. Very convenient. See, mine's compatible with the region unlocking part of it. But they, I say recently, it's been a while now. They released a patch that didn't destroy the DVD playback capability of the console. Um, and sadly... That's the part that's not compatible with my PS2. And it's rare. It's very rare that I use my PS2 for, for DVDs or anything like that. But I do occasionally. And uh, so I didn't want to lose the capability to do anything DVD based on my PS2. Not here either, huh? Where is this dude? It definitely said... Well, I mean, okay, this part goes up higher. We'll keep checking. Going to the northernmost point of the Velroy Desert. Still your most valuable console. 39K is regarded to be the best model of PS2. I'm terrible at remembering which model's which. <laughs> what is uh the 39K? Is that... Ah, here we are. So you were just in the most northern part. Um, is 39k fat or slim? That sounds like a fat model to me, but... Well, Clive. I could be very wrong about that, though. Oh god, you have, like, a lot of help on you. Uh, okay, you know what? Not as much as I thought originally. Oh, but your shell is a freaking... Uh, shield so we can't like attack you from behind or anything first one was 70k okay okay <laughs> yeah I got you I thought 39k was a fat but I couldn't remember for sure so memory not good memory bad <laughs> I think my fat is a 52 I think my original fat from when I was younger sadly uh it survived the house fire that I had when I was younger, um, but it didn't survive the water damage <laughs> that came afterwards. So, yeah. Fertile? I think you mean fast of... I can't actually read it. Man, it's moving too much. Fast tit oh Callan <laughs> <Fastitikalin? laughs> I have no idea what it's actually meant to say.
Don't you know that means turtle? Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> My mistake. Obviously, that means turtle. What was I thinking, dude? Fancy move you got, my guy. Oh, you bastard. You convinced this thing's just a messed up Pokemon? Oh, you dick. Yeah, my slim is... Was... Is it a 70 or is it a 72? Right there, I could just get up and look at it, but like, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> it does get warm. I've never had it like overheat to the point of causing problems, but whichever model slim PS2 I have, it does definitely get warm. I haven't used my fat in so long. <laughs> I still have it. Like, it's over here in my gaming area as well. I just never find the need to, like, use it when I have, like, the slim right there. And, you know, the slim's just so much smaller. Plus, of course, I have a hard drive in my, my fat, so that adds weight and a little bit of... Uh, da -da -da -da. Whatchamacallit on it. Not encumbrance, but makes it a bit harder to move around, basically, is all I was trying to say. At least you can still play all the PS2 games on it, yeah. Isn't there a... Uh, because I know, like, there's a couple PS1 games that don't play well on the PS2 in general. But weren't there a couple more PS2 games that were less compatible with the later model PS2 than the 70K and prior? And what games aren't compatible with the after 72K? Is it just like Fantasy Star Online and Final Fantasy 12 with the expansions? Or are there more than I'm not remembering? Back when PC was still around that we had to turn at least three games that didn't work on it. No shit, really? I'm sure I've seen a list somewhere, like a complete list of them that don't work well on the later consoles, but I just do not remember. <laughs> they even did the words. I mean, I had like a machine to do that myself at home at one point. I miss that thing, dude. It wasn't as good as like the ones at stores or anything like that, but it was a lot better than like a lot of the really cheap ones that I have seen online and other people use. But I let somebody borrow it one time to fix a DVD or something. I don't think I ever got it back. But I miss that thing. One of these days, I want to buy a, uh, like, a proper one, like what game stores and stuff use. It's been on my Amazon list of things to buy for a long time, just because, you know, as my physical collection gets larger and larger, it would be nice to have a way to resurface them myself. Instead of, like, taking them to the game store and paying them a few bucks a disc to do it. I mean... In all honesty, my local game store, the dude there is really cool, and he's even told me, like, I'll cut you a deal, like, if you have a bunch of them that needs done instead of charging you 
two or three dollars, whatever it is that this game normally charges. Like I do a big group of them for cheaper. But I, st I just, I would be nice to have my own. Plus, I have like some DVDs and stuff that would be nice to do. Not very many, but a couple nonetheless. It should have stayed at its all right. show. So now that is all of the hunts, minus the one that we don't know the location of. That's just a bunch of question marks. Oh shit, it's three o'clock. I should probably be getting off here. <laughs> Didn't realize how late it had gotten. Oh boy, okay. We're going to go talk to mid, and then I think we're gonna get off, cause like, yeah. Uptime, you're thinking of uptime. <laughs> close, close. <laughs> Small delay, Small delay, it's uptime. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> there you go yeah we were a little bit late tonight I had to uh not make dinner noodle made dinner thank you for that noodle it was delicious um but dinner was running a little bit late and I had something I had to do before tomorrow so I want to make sure to get that done like before it got super late I don't come up with something soon Hello, Min. You'll be pleased to hear that Blackthorn started work on the plating. Excellent. One down, two to go. So, what's next? The helm, of course. For this, we'll be repurposing fallen scrap. Salvage from the ruins? I thought that material was all but impossible to work. Ah, but we don't have to. I'm sorry. Just so happens there's one particular ruin that's broken into exactly the right shape and size pieces for what we need. What's the name back there? I'll give you all details. What's the name? Right. Hammer's too high. Lower. Lower. Ha! Huh, there we go. Anyways, that one? <laughs> that Final Fantasy Anthology? Oh, the plastic's getting messed up on it. That's sad. This is a sealed in box copy that I have. I haven't played it, because, you know, it's, it's sealed in box. I might have another copy of it, though, that's not sealed. I don't remember, but... <laughs> but, yeah. Um, fun fact about Square Enix... Some of the games, I have a handful of sealed Final Fantasy games. Um, and it's because Square Enix uh, did re-releases way after the PS1 died. Like, just, what was it? It was like three year, two years ago, three years ago, something like that. It wasn't that long ago. I was able to buy brand new sealed copies of... Final Fantasy games on the PS1 from Square. There is a small difference. Instead of the black disc, um, I'm not going to open this one up to show you, even though this this isn't one of them, actually. I see the sticker from the place I bought it from. This is a uh, probably an original copy. Sealed? It has the right copyrights on it, at least. But anyways, uh, yeah, instead of the, the black bottom discs, they have regular CD bottom discs because Sony was no longer producing the uh, the black dyed discs that you needed for the Final Fantasy games on, or for any PS1 game. Um, so even though they were still printing them, they had to use slightly different discs than the original. So they're a little bit different. Let me see, hold on, be right back again. Wait, Lili was traumatized? Why was Lili traumatized? What'd you do to Lili? Ba 
And I do have a PS1. I have two PS1s. I have a uh, a modded PS1 and a unmodded PS1. So, but anyway, so yeah, so this is my copy of Final Fantasy Tactics. Kind of hard to see on camera because lights. But anyways, uh, if we look at the bottom of it, see it has a black bottom. Um, the other ones do not. Yeah, no, no. The black was just a thing, like a recognition thing, basically. And they lied as part of their marketing, at least here in North America, saying that it was part of, like, anti-piracy measures and whatnot. But it was not at all uh, part of their anti-piracy measures. But uh, anyways, yeah, I also have Final Fantasy Origins sealed in box. I'm pretty sure that one was got as part of the, the re-releases. Um, Final Fantasy IX sealed in box again i'm pretty sure this was part of the re-releases that they did i'm not going to open them to show them but you can find videos of them or just like copies of them floating around online and then also final fantasy chronicles uh sealed in box all three of those were bought from the actual square enix north american website straight from square um as part of their thing where they just like started selling old games <laughs> it's sealed in box like in 2020 or something like that it was really cool uh but anyways yeah like i guess i've never opened any of them because i have give me the rundown which games are in what release oh yeah yeah no problem so final fantasy anthology is final fantasy 5 and 6 that's anthology tactics is just tactics of course and then final fantasy origins is one and two and then Final Fantasy Chronicles is Final Fantasy IV and Chrono Trigger. And that one. Oh, the camera's kind of cutting it off. But that's four and Chrono Trigger. Nine is just nine, of course. Origins is one and two. And then Tactics is Tactics. And Anthology is five and six. So that means I have Final Fantasy one, two... Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. <laughs> All for the original PlayStation. The only one I don't have is Final Fantasy 3, and to my knowledge, Final Fantasy 3 was never released for the PlayStation. In fact, was it Final Fantasy 3 that wasn't even brought to America until. Or no, it was 4 and 5, huh? That weren't brought over until a long time later. I don't remember, but yeah. Regardless, I don't think Final Fantasy 3 was ever released for the PlayStation. But I have every other mainline game in the Final Fantasy series for the PlayStation. I don't have, a, what was it, Chocobo Dungeon was a spinoff. And I'm sure there were one or two other spinoffs that I'm probably missing. I have a list of all of them that I still need and whatnot. But, yeah. Okay, so it was 3 that was never released in America until the DS version. I thought so. But then I was like, no, that doesn't sound right. But <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. And then, yeah, Pixel Remaster. I love the Pixel Remaster, by the way. I know a lot of people are iffy about it. But uh, I'm a big fan of the Pixel Remasters. Just got to switch the English font with the Japanese font. And, like, hmm. Oh, really? In the whole world? That I did not. I would have thought at the very least there would have been, like, a remake in Japan or something at some point. Interesting. Interesting. But anyways, guys. I'm just wasting time at this point. Like I said, I was going to talk to mid and get off. I am curious. Oh. <laughs> Lily was traumatized by the picture that Rue put up in Discord. That's... <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I'm just going to laugh emoji, and that'll be good enough. <laughs> Not Noodle, Lili. Lili was the one that uh, was traumatized. NES, DS, and Pixel Remaster. Did the NES version get released outside of Japan, though, for Final Fantasy 3? Final Fantasy 3. Um, uh, North America? North America. Never. Okay. Okay. Like, so I didn't think so, but at the same time, I was like, uh, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Memory's really not good. Final Fantasy is my favorite series of video games, and like I've looked at all of this information so many times, but memory just does not work, man. I forget this shit constantly. Um, 
but yeah. <laughs> One of these days, I want to go back and play. Because, like, I've beaten Final Fantasy 1. But I don't remember at least beating Final Fantasy 2, which I have a couple different copies of for different systems. Um, 3, I played a lot of the DS remake that was ported to PC. I think that was 3. Wasn't that 3? Or was it 4? Regardless. I don't know. Point is, I've never beaten a lot of the Final Fantasy games. I've played at least a little bit of, a mo of most of them. But I've never beaten a lot of them, and I need to. Sooner or later. Someday. Ah, <sighs> time, though. Played it for like eight hours. That's all I ever played the whole franchise. But boy, do I know it's release history. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if my memory worked better, I'd be able to add to the conversation a little bit more. But it's just it just doesn't. I've watched so many videos on like YouTube and shit about it, man. But I just don't retain information. Spice turn-based combat yet? <laughs> yeah. Anything before Final Fantasy XII just is not for you if uh, you don't like turn-based. Have you played, like, Final Fantasy XII, though? Like, I'm just curious how you feel about that one, where it's, like, it's more turn-based than it is action RPG, but it's not full turn-based, like, you know, ten and prior. It's where they started um, switching away from turn-based again only i oh yeah yeah okay okay i gotcha i gotcha played it for like eight hours to three or two or something <laughs> i'm guessing three. <laughs> oh god anyways i'm sorry i'm tired i'm dumb don't mind me i'm going to bed we're gonna be playing more of this tomorrow though i'm hoping to be on time tomorrow i do have a few errands that i need to run uh, and if it's not, like, raining where I live, then I'll also be mowing my lawn tomorrow. So, as long as everything goes according to plan, we should be on time. If not, then a little bit late. But we're definitely playing more Final Fantasy 16 tomorrow. So, I hope to see those of you who can be there, there. And those of you who cannot, thank you for joining. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. I need sleep. 9 a.m. time for breakfast. Bruh. You wake up way too early for me. I get up at like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Of course, I also stay up until, you know, it's 3 a.m. my time. And I probably won't actually fall asleep for another hour or two. But <laughs> anyways, 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 yeah. Getting off, getting off. Time to go. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Thank you. And uh, be kind to each other and all that stuff. <laughs> Bye. God. Save the city. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here's a little bit of background. section of the industrial area. My men are getting their asses kicked. The KG have a new leader. We're trying to find out who it is. I'm afraid I've got more bad news. A large group of survivors. Nate's here somewhere. I don't know what he's doing at the moment, but of the city. But we destroyed Core. It appears the strongest metalheads have survived. The battle for the city has just begun. The people are blaming you, Jack. Okay, so we saved them, but we made some sort of call that some people didn't agree with in number two. A nap would be nice. Just a teensy little rest. I wouldn't suggest taking a nap in the middle of the desert sun, though. That, <laughs> that doesn't seem like a great idea. Report! And the surviving metalheads have expanded their hold on the west side. I think we met Illusion that dude, right? The Pretty early on. Did we meet death. her in number two good. with they a little bit of time that we played? You don't believe that, do you? What's in the past is done. Right now, metalheads are assaulting the palace. They're looking for something, and I have no idea. <laughs> Okay, so we saved everyone, but they blame us for the invasion in the first place. I think maybe that's what's going on? I guess. I don't know, man. We need a Jack and Daxter expert up in here. Some <laughs> someone that can give us some sort of idea what the hell's going on.
like we found some live ones. <laughs> Barely. Here's the beacon we were picking up. Who gave you this? We'll take them with us. Let's move. I smell a storm coming. No, I didn't watch the rice thing yet, love. I did that, or I cooked that after I cooked the, uh, after I did the dishes. Press the start button. Okay, there we go. So that's, that's the, the pre-roll thing. Did it save our options? I think it did, because this looks super crisp and clear. Uh, or not. Okay. There we go. That's a little bit better. Put progressive scan back on. The screen looks not centered, actually. So let's center that. Which means I probably need to change my settings a little bit. That looks better. Uh, sound option. I don't think I changed anything. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I did. I did. One other thing. Camera option. Flip. There we go. I think that was everything. Okay. New game. Let's go. Uh, game one. Uh, overwrite. Sure. I don't care. I mean, it's not like we really did anything with that save anyways, but might as well overwrite it. Right back into the cutscene. Let's go. So how did we make it here after passing out in the middle of the desert, though? That's what I want to know. It's so good. Desert dead. Well, you've come back from the dead, have you? And my monks were ready to pray for you. I am Damus, king of Spargus. Spargus? Wait, nobody lives outside Haven's walls. Not a whole city. Ah, yes. We are the Forgotten Ones. Haven City's refuse thrown out and left to die. Just as you were. But now that you have been saved, your life belongs to the people of Spargus. And we will use it well, if it's actually worth anything. Hey, that sounds like a bad deal. You are in no position to deal. Out here, everything is either useful or dead weight. Prove yourselves worthy, or the desert will be your grave. You need to work on making a better first impression. <laughs> in the unforgiving wasteland, we value strength and survival above all. We will see where you stand soon enough. Complete your training, then enter the arena. Just the bravest crawl out and are allowed to stay in Spargus. It's quite simple, really. Um, what happens to the ones that don't crawl out? Then it will be as if we never found you. Mm -hmm. I was afraid of that. I'm assuming it's gonna, like, lose our power somehow. From the other games. Where we get to watch other we'll see. They said it'll tell. I mean, I figured it would eventually. Hopefully. Pecker, that's his name. Okay. To be his new counselor. He says my wisdom will serve him well. Oh yeah, and uh, Demos also says that uh, you two are likely to die in the arena today. And he hopes you're Sounds good. very... Uh... <laughs> you stop that! Demos can talk about himself! He's right. You will most likely die. And yes, Pecker is my new advisor. Unlike you, some people appreciate my talents. It beats working for a living. I Who is this guy? <laughs> Where did he come from? Why, you little... Let the games begin! Seems we have a bit of a love-hate relationship with him, but, uh... <laughs> the following? Okay, so that's, that's autosave. Got it. You must all the okay, we can jump. We can double jump. I'm assuming, yeah, we can do 